Hello RC hobbyist. I just got my new Orange RX 3 axis flight stabilizer in the mail from Hobby King in China. And the part number was 28456. And this is version 2. And it replaces the old version 1, which is right here. And you can immediately see there's a big difference in size. Also, the new one, version 2, has the ability to be switched off remotely by your transmitter. So this is really nice. It also has a couple new features where you can use it as a, a V-tail type arrangement or a delta type arrangement. Right here, these two switches. And we'll get into those later. It also has the... Uh, ability to reverse uh, the, the rudder and aileron and elevator and it has a switch up here that has to do with uh, controlling the gyro remotely so that's some of the the big differences I can see right away another thing about it is you didn't get a manual there's no manual for version 2 so far you can download the version 1 manual from Hobby King and most of the features are the same as far as the uh, adjusting the trims, hooking it up uh, what you won't find out is how to set up the connection to switch it on and off but that obviously goes on this aux port to a spare channel on your radio and it's either on or off and I think you have to just set it so it's either 100% on or 100% off when you flip the switch I might put it on my gear switch, I don't know. I have a number of aux switches I could use. And uh, let's just take a look at the pins on this thing. Now one thing I notice is it still has the signal pin marked on the back row here. The back row of pins is the signal pin and there's a little S right there for signal on the old one I think it had the S right here so the signal pins and the other the other pins like the voltage and the uh, and the ground are still in the same places what is different however is the location of the inputs and outputs they're a little different they're still in the same order but they're reversed in other words you have to kind of hold these two like this and line them up and now I've got them lined up where see if I can get something in here where the aileron goes to the aileron left aileron and then you got elevator rudder right aileron those are the outputs and then the inputs are aileron, elevator and rudder and then the new one has one extra one which is the aux for turning it on and off so you can see there they line up if you hold them opposed to each other like that but if you try to hold them this way they don't line up and just keep in mind uh, where your signal wire goes, the, the light colored wire goes where these notches are right here on both of them. That's because if you had a Futaba connector on your cable, it the little pin or little uh, tag on it would go in this notch. So the Futaba wires automatically go in the right way and the others, well you just have to make sure the white wire or light yellow wire is going to this pin. The new one does not have the uh, the Atmel programming pins right here. I never use them anyway so I don't really miss them. The other thing is the new one does not have the battery connection right here. Which is this red thing here. And I'm kinda glad about that because I've heard you should never connect a battery directly to this anyway. It's finicky on the voltage and it really needs to get the voltage from your ESC, which would probably have a BEC in it, but uh, that would provide the right voltage where a battery connected right straight to here, like a LiPo or something, might burn it out. So 
unless you're really careful and had a external BEC between your battery and the battery connector it could be harmful to the unit so I kind of don't miss that battery connector so that one's missing on the new one and the atmel pins are missing on the new one but the new one does have the added aux pin to turn it on and off the pots probably will adjust about the same but I'll find out on the next video when we hook it up and see what it does and maybe we'll learn how to uh, switch it on and off too because like I said there's no manual for this new one alright that's all for now we'll talk to you later and the next video should be revealing